Good day, everyone. Ali Safi here from Safi Financial Network. In this video, I'm going to talk about Alibaba again. Another update for this. I know that recently I came up with update last week, and it seems like everything is going well, coming along with our analysis. And I uh, just want to follow up with that one. So Alibaba had a positive week last week. Um, nice uh, green bar here, and uh, stock traded above $7,300. Uh, sorry, $7,300. I wish it was seventy three hundred, but uh, seventy three dollars, seventy three point ninety two cents, and uh, we just got a reversal here last week as well. So this gravestone doji here just uh, retested at SMA twenty on a weekly basis, but we need to get above eighty dollars. So seventy eight to eighty dollar is going to be very very important level. If you see this stock is going to follow through above seventy eight to eighty dollar, which means we are going to just uh, break through this bearish trend here so this is kind of like a bearish channel actually since august 2023 and the stock is just going down since 100 area uh, it goes all the way down to 66 coming back recently just in january i should say it just uh, went up and uh, right now in february we just see a bullish consolidation forming here prior 78 to 80 so if it goes above 78 to 80 any pullback could be a great buying opportunity all the way to 87. And I should say it can go all the way up again to $100, which is going to be a decisive moment for Alibaba and see how it goes. But all in all, I'm kind of like a bullish for the next few, I should say, weeks and probably a couple months uh, to, to the upside. Uh, I'm not going to give you a crazy target right now. So 100 level is going to be, I think, it's going to be a good, decent, level and stock can go all the way up to from 73 to 100 dollar which is going to be almost 30 percent to the upside which is not bad uh, compared to the other stocks that they're doing i'm just talking about the general stock market i'm not talking about nvd or amd or something like that because people can uh, name them but regardless of uh, nvidia amd those semiconductors which just ripping to the upside recently this 30%, I should say, it's going to be a good, especially when uh, February and March could be kind of like a bearish month for the stock market. So everyone's suffering. I believe Alibaba could be a good buying opportunity still right now with the stop loss below this wide range bar, $66. I should say that's going to be important level for Alibaba. Stochastic momentum wise, we are just have got a reversal Um December time frame it goes higher so there is divergence here between these two so that's why we are just kind of like a bullish with this name right now moving on to the daily chart so daily chart tells exactly the same thing we got a bull reversal here nicely just last week and just a trigger to the upside it goes above SMA 20 and SMA 50 at the same time forming a nice reverse head our shoulder so if it goes again above this candle which is going to be a 77 or i should say 78 again to 80 so if it goes above this a pullback it could be a great buying opportunity all the way up to 100 level which i believe it's coming and uh, if it goes all the way to 100 then we will make a decision um if we want to keep the stock right now or we can just uh, looking for another pattern for kind of like a bigger time frame but all in all, I should say, uh, if we go above this area, this is going to be great. I should say buying signal above 80. So just keep an eye on this stock as well. All right. That was pretty much uh, for Alibaba. I tried to give you update on this, even three to four minutes update. That's going to be enough for now. Have a fantastic evening. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.